Hi Taurus, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing a love general reading. This is going to be a timeless reading for you Taurus, so it's going to apply whenever you watch this. This is going to be for any Taurus with Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their charts. Remember, cross watchers, you're most definitely welcome as well. And guys, we don't take ourselves too seriously here. We're here to have a good time and uh, I hope you enjoy the reading. So this is going to be, we're going to channel into the messages of your person, Taurus, and get how they're feeling about you. Then we're going to draw some cards for you and how you feel about them. And then we're going to draw an overall uh, energy as well as some advice for the situation. Okay. Or what's going to happen. So again, these are all possibilities. You are in charge of your own life and manifestation here. I am merely here as a guide for you in on your journey. So Taurus, as a fellow Taurus here, I really appreciate you being here watching this channel. Again, I really appreciate any likes and subscribes. Uh, really helps grow the channel so I can get more viewers and then give you better content. So let's begin with your reading, Taurus. We're going to channel in the person for you that you're dealing with right now and seeing how they're feeling, what they want to tell you, uh, not in the 3D world, but uh, within the spiritual realm, okay, their true self. What does their soul want to communicate to you it, from a higher consciousness, okay? What do they want to tell you, but they're unable to in the physical realm right now? Actually, Taurus, let's draw a love oracle first for you. Messages for Taurus's person. Okay, looks like that's the one. Taurus, I have reconciliation coming up for you. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So, who's this person? I don't know. It's the person you're dealing with. <laughs> Let's see what's coming up, okay? Let's find out for you, Taurus, what your person's thinking about. What are they thinking about you right now? And what do they want to say to you? cut the deck and I'm going to draw the other decks right now. I'm going to line this up. This is your person and how they feel about you. This is how you feel about them. Okay. And we'll draw some more later for the outcome and advice, okay? So let's get a couple hidden truths here for you from your person. What are the messages here? I want you, Taurus, they want to move their energy towards you, but somehow they can't. You need to reconcile with this person. There may be no contact right now. What does this person want to say? What does this person feel? towards you. They want you. They miss you. What else? So many things remind me of you. Yep, they're getting reminders from the universe, synchronicities, seeing your name, seeing certain numbers that remind songs that remind you, uh, sorry, remind them of you. Hmm. Anything else? I think that's it for that. Messages of love here. Messages of love for Taurus's person. Oh, that almost wanted to come out. Messages of love. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Taurus, you could be very well upset at this person or disappointed with this person. You're questioning whether or not this is going to work out. Okay. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Okay. But at the same time, both of you realize that there's potential in this connection between the two of you, which is why reconciliation is on the table here. Let's see what this is all about. Okay. So Taurus, 
this is your person and how they feel about you. We have the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the High Priestess in reverse. Okay. And this is telling me right now that this person feels overwhelmed. They feel there could be fears involved in this situation here with the wands. I'm getting a sense like it's too much for their body to handle. Their nervous system may be shutting down. This connection stresses them out. But why? Wheel of Fortune. They feel like this is not the right time. They feel like I'm getting a sense here with the Wheel of Fortune is not now, maybe later kind of vibe. Could also be a situation that is unfortunate. That is the reason why this person feels like they cannot completely open up to you. They're holding on to some sort of deep trauma or pain here. And so this could be this person's fortune and how they feel about this connection is this is doomed and they are doomed and anyone that is with them could possibly just be a victim of their sabotage and their energy, which they feel is a mess. The high priestess in reverse, this person ignores what their gut is telling them about the connection between the two of you. I feel like sometimes this person has glimpses of the connection and then they shut down or something and they're not able to see the actual truth or they deny some sort of feeling within themselves, their intuition here. It is about not seeing something that's right there in front of you to the naked eye, not being aware of something put in front of you. So they may have taken this relationship for granted here, but there is so much of this stress that this person has that it feels as if they are scared to uh, put energy into this because they feel like they'll just ruin everything anyway. And that may be a man mentality or mindset that this person carries with them uh, with this connection. But deep down, they do want you. They're attracted to you. So many things remind, they can't get you off of their mind. That doesn't mean they don't feel the pain and they wouldn't be feeling so much of this aggravated energy if you didn't affect them at all. If you were no one to them, they wouldn't have this 10 of wands energy. So do you have the integrity still to stay in the situation? Perhaps you guys are no contact right now. How is this person returning? Are they going to be apologetic? Are they going to recognize certain things that they've done towards this connection? How they treated you? Are they going to admit certain things? Are they going to discuss and open about it? It's really up to you. This person wants to reconcile and get a second chance. Like literally it's right here. This relationship deserves a second chance. Reconciliation. How can you, these two cards go together. So, Universe is confirming that this person, even though they are feeling a certain ways and towards you, they are getting to the point now where they are going to reconcile. We're getting to the outcome in a bit, okay? Let's find out how you feel about this person. The death card, Scorpio energy. Okay, death card, knight of cups in reverse and four of swords. This person hurt you. And you've gone through a transformation or you're going through one right now. You're healing. And I'm getting a sense here that you're slowly starting to recognize that this person mistreated you. This person wanted to take your energy, but they didn't reciprocate even though you gave everything that you could to this con connection. The death card tells me that things ended between the two of you, whether it was them or you who ended it, but the transformation is already occurring with you and 
you're realizing certain things. This goes with the integrity card of the death. You're starting to realize that this doesn't align with your values anymore. This connection doesn't seem to make sense. And so given this opportunity, has this person, you want this person to transform into something that maybe they are incapable of, maybe that they won't be able to see here and that their luck will always be the way it is here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is shit out of luck. So I don't know. These are burdens here with the 10 of wands that they have towards this connection. They are burdened. And then your connection broke down. And so while this transformation is happening or will happen or is happening now for you, we have the Knight of Cups. You're going to shut off emotionally to this person. And some of you, some of you have made attempts here to reconnect with this person and try to resolve certain things here, but Knight of Cups in reverse is telling me that message isn't getting through. That offer of love or that offer of cup is not coming through to this person. And someone here is definitely misaligned. It could be you, it could be them, but this cup is not being filled, it's empty. And you view this person as someone who threw away their, their cup or the cup that existed between the two of you, whatever that what connection was. And the Four of Swords, you just, you're staying silent right now. You want to connect with this person, but you're really giving yourself a break, Taurus. And some of you are meditating. Some of you are getting more into spirituality and work there. You're opening up avenues in your life. I'm seeing here that are going to create change. And so what's going to happen here is when this reconciliation chance comes up along, you're going to be in this four swords energy. So you're going to feel rested and healed while this connection somehow comes back into your life. And you've already experienced the death card. Let's find out the outcome here between this connection between you and your person. Let's find out about the connection here, please. All right. What's going on with this connection here? What is the outcome? Queen of Wands. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Very nice. One more. Yeah, that one wants to come out. Oh, it's too many. I'll take them both. Okay. Six of Cups in reverse and the Fool in reverse. So, the outcome here to me feels like, okay, you're in an energy of, this person's going to come in with a very kind of quick energy here with this they may use certain tactics to rekindle this connection and they could be flirty here very manipulative here with the queen of wands okay page of pentacles you're not expecting it here taurus i'm getting here it's almost like there's a rebirth within you and this page has now endured the pain and healed but yet there's a queen coming through here so it'll be unexpected like i said during a new period in your life and the six of cups in reverse you really don't you don't want to remember the past because it was very painful what this person did and here they come in with your energy the fool in reverse 
You don't want to jump into something that's going to be reckless. You've done that before. You've done that before. This person may be overreaching right now for you. And I'm getting here. A lot of you are going to decide whether or not you want to rekindle this connection. And really the six of cups here, you wished you forgotten everything. How can you ever start something with someone who um, caused you some sort of pain here? And now they're coming back towards you. Could be fire sign. Okay. Aries, Sag, Leo. But Taurus, you're going to hold this page energy. And it's an innocent energy as well. But definitely a promise. This could be a promise to yourself to not deal with that energy again. And so you may reject this offer due to what has happened in the past. For others, if you decide to go, we can read this as the Six of Cups in reverse, being forgetting about everything that's happened, having a new slate, but with the fool in reverse, you're not going to forget what happened before. And you're not going to be taken as a fool this time. You're smarter than that, Taurus. Okay? You're going to proceed with caution here in this matter. So, uh, any advice here for this connection? That was kind of some advice there for you. Any advice here for Taurus, please? Oh, it's too many. Way too many. Any advice here for Taurus? Okay. Anything else? Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, this card is about taking shortcuts, sometimes not putting in the necessary work. So some of you feel as if there's that lazy energy I'm getting from you, Taurus. And it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. Or it's not worth it. If you're lazy because of whatever pain that you've gone through, that's fine. You can choose to stay stale wherever it is that you are. But I feel like a lot of you need to know that you need to actually put more work in. And that work may be into yourself still. Four of Swords. There's a lot of time still that you need to take for yourself to heal. And if this person comes in hot, you're not going to forget. You're going to either withdraw from putting any effort into this connection, or you're going to let them handle the entire connection while you just observe and see what this person's about because you're very skeptical here at this point and universe is telling you to be skeptical too. Anything else? Okay. Four of pentacles. Yeah. Be very mindful of this situation. I know you're very aware, Taurus, about this, about the energies between the two of you here, but you need to keep certain things to yourself. Okay. This may not appear what it seems, it could be, but I feel that a lot of you Tauruses will have a wall up and you'll be holding everything in for a bit and waiting to see what they say before you open your mouth. Okay. All right. Anyway, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, this was definitely an enjoyable one. I really do appreciate you watching here till the end. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Again, please like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel, gets me more viewers, and that'll uh, increase the quality of the content. But uh, thank you for being here, Taurus, and I wish to see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.